For those of you watching for the first time, this is a series of short films in which we've asked different lawyers in the business to give their views on changes that need to be made to the planning system. So today you'll be hearing from Lucy Morton. The improvements in air quality have been talked about as some of the positives coming from the COVID-19 pandemic. And this is largely as a result of lockdown and the huge reduction in numbers of people using different forms of transport. Um, with easing of lockdown, this is obviously going to change and will present a new challenge. And it'll be interesting to see how the legal framework controlling air pollution needs to be adapted. There were already um, amendments coming through with the Environment Bill pre-COVID, which looks at the existing Clean Air Act and the Environment Act and how duties and obligations of the sector of state and local authorities need to be amended so it would enhance um, obligations in relation to air quality limit values and targets and air quality action plans. Um, there's also the clean air uh, strategy which the government published last year and national and local and mayoral policies on air quality um, all of which may need to be adapted. We'll have to wait and see how people's behaviour changes um, when lockdowns eased and what forms of transport people end up using. Um, there's also some case law. So last year in the Court of Appeal, the Shirley and Gladman cases related to air quality, and there might be more litigation in those areas, especially if the duties um, on public authorities are amended as set out in the Environment Bill.